If you're like me, then Football Manager and the old Championship Manager series has been a huge part of your life. In fact, you've probably spent so much time on these games that you've fallen in love with certain players. And over the years, there have been so many greats that you could sign. Now, obviously, you could get like Ronaldinho, Ronaldo, Messi, but you've got to love those cult heroes that cost nothing and became legends. So, who are the best? Well, we've created our definitive FM Cult Hero 11. And if you think someone should be on here that isn't, then be sure to shout at me in the comments section. With that being said, let's kick things off with our keeper called Dionysus Chiotis. There have been so many great cult goalkeepers over the years in both series. However, Chiotis is as excellent as it is difficult for me to pronounce his name correctly. During my AC Milan save, which I do remember fondly even 15 years later, he was a huge part of me going undefeated in the league for two seasons. This Championship Manager 0102 legend was a must buy. At right back, we've got Anthony Van den Bora. This 16 year old could really play anywhere, however, we're going to plump him at right wing back or right back because that was really his preferred choice. He had incredible attacking and creative stats for his age, and his mental abilities were absolutely eye popping. The fact that you could sign him for free just made him even better. He was definitely a must buy for any Football Manager 2005 save. At centre back we've got Tariba West. What is there to say really? The best centre back on Championship Manager 0102. Free? Check. Excellent stats? Check. Played like a god? Check. Could sell him for loads later? Check. At left back we've got Isaac Okoronkwo. Another great player and another name that I've butchered, but don't worry, I'm sure that somebody will be screaming at me in the comment section right now. Get good, scrub. Why can't you pronounce these names? You suck. I'm getting so mad about a slight mispronunciation. Anyway, you could get him for peanuts. He was really quick, strong, brave, and a good captain if you needed one. A total god. Moving on at midfield, we're starting off with our centre mids, and we're starting off with Mark Kerr, the box to box midfielder of your dreams. He might not have been very skillful or even be able to pass very well, however he could run things in midfield and be non-stop for 90 minutes. That's, that's all you need. Partnering him is Freddy Guarin. Now he was excellent on Championship Manager 0304, but has been incredible on pretty much every game. Now he's not exactly a cult hero because, I mean, he's played Vitna Milan, he's played you know numerous times at Columbia, but I couldn't find anybody else and I was very unwilling to do some research. So. Freddie Green, all the times that we spent with each other over the years on Championship Manager and Football Manager, I respect you for that. He was cheap, he defend, he attack, he smashes them in from about 45 yards out. Now onto our wingers and we're starting off with Chris Sedgwick. Honest to God, I thought that Chris Sedgwick was going to become the greatest winger of all time in about 2001. Basically Rotherham's answer to David Beckham only without the sarongs and I don't know, sleeping with what's a face off the telly that did stuff to that pig. Anyway, crossing and passing and pace were all excellent from this guy and he was actually surprisingly deadly in front of goal. A real Premier League hero if you could get him in Newcastle or like Everton. He was just great. There was no reason not to sign Chris Sedgwick. Now we could have gone for Victor Hugo Aristizabal but it was always Sedgwick. He may have cost a little bit more, I think he was about 500k but Sedgwick was the man. Over on the left side, we've got Lionel Morgan, another gem from both CM4 and 0304, and the best Lionel M ever to feature on a game. Yes, that includes you, Lionel Messi. He had bags of pace, loads of dribbling, finishing strength, and even the ability to score whenever you want it. Onto our lethal front three, we're starting off with Salvador Cabanas. A big fan of this bloke, and such a shame of what happened to him IRL. If you don't know, he got shot in the head and miraculously survived. Anyway, on FM09, Cabanas was the guy that you needed when you wanted someone to score goals. Loads of goals. He was a complete finisher who could easily net 30 goals in a season and was good for just about any team and would sign for you even if you're in the championship. Partnering him is Maxim Sagalko, obviously. Everyone thinks that Tomodira is the best CM player in history. And however, he's not. Sagalko is the guy that would make an immediate impact and score so many goals. I'm not going to talk about him much more because I can't find many pictures of him. So, there we go. And finally, Cherno Samba. Uh, yeah, obviously. Who else are we going to pick? As cool players go, Cherno is king. However, I quite like Kevin Kyle or maybe even Patrick Helmers, who was fantastic for a, about a decade. Uh, however, Samba is the man. Cheapest chips, loads of goals. 
and we would come on to worth a truckload. Here's a definition of an FM Wonder Kid, or Championship Manager Wonder Kid, who did basically nothing with their career. Him and maybe Freddie Eddie. And that's our team. Did we miss anybody out? Scream at me in the comment section below. Be sure to like and share this video, hit that subscribe button, that notification button, and I don't know, do whatever you want. Have a good bank holiday weekend and drink some beers. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next week for another one.